Hey there everybody, this is Wyatt from Proclaim. Today I want to just quickly show you how did the order of service works within the program, explain each of the four different types, and also give an example of how you can move items between the types. So here on the left hand side of the screen we see the order of service window, and as you add to this, this will grow and you can scroll through it with up and down on the mouse wheel. The pre-service loop, the warm-up, the service, and the post-service loop are all four parts. And if you hover over each one, you're able to see a bit of a description. But I'd also like to explain a little bit more. The way this works is it all hinges on when you're starting your service. For this example, we'll be starting at 10 a.m. If I'm starting my service at 10 a.m., then content I want to put in the service will begin by adding there. Now I've got a couple of things I prepared. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in a Bible item. Let's see, we'll go with John 1.1. 1, 1. kind of a plain background. I think we'd like to do something a little bit nicer than that. So let's see here. I like that. And then I'm also going to go ahead and bring in a Bible art as well. So for that, I'm going to browse the media library. I'm going to look here at the Bible art section. And perfect. So we've got three items, now two items within our service. This John 1-1 1, 1 verse with a Bible art background, and then this piece of art made here, Faith Life. So currently these are in the service, which means that they'll be shown at 10 a.m. that morning. However, we might want to have these not during the service, but instead during one of our warm-ups. So you can drag them just by clicking and holding into any other section that you want. The pre-service loop is a space where you can loop announcements, art, and any content you want before the service starts. So if our service starts at 10 a.m., then we are able to use the pre-service loop starting, let's say, at 9 o'clock. People are walking into the building. Anything in the pre-service loop will just go on and on continuously, automatically, without you needing to change anything, as soon as you go on air, say, around 9 in the morning. And the pre-service loop will continue up until 10 a.m., now, the warm-up, in this example we'll drag it here, now has two items in it, which means the warm-up is 19 seconds long. So the warm-up will start 19 seconds before the service at 10 a.m. It will show us what's here, and then if we wanted, we could have a countdown clock right here, which would let us know the service starts in two minutes. Then, from within the service, you can go through each item, just like you would for anything else that you want to do during that time. And similar to the post or pre-service loop, you can bring things into the post-service loop where they will go automatically after the service is over, but before you've gone off air. And then once you go off air, everything shuts down. It's a quick example again of the four parts. The pre-service and the post-service loop run automatically. The warm-up occurs before the service, and everything hinges on when you start the service time. And you can drag items just by holding down the mouse and bringing them to where you want them to be in the program. All right, everybody. Hope that's helpful.